Hello friends. Welcome to jQuery tutorial. In the last video, we talked about event propagation. Now let's learn how to stop the event propagation. Every event handler function receives an event object. We haven't used this object. Now let's see how to use this. Using this event object, we can stop the event bubbling action. In the last video, we talked about the event bubbling, right? So using this event object, we can stop the bubbling action. We already know about the CSS rule blue as well as red. We will be using the same here. And we know this hierarchy also. Body parent. Child of body is div. And div has three childs. Method stop propagation breaks the bubbling chain and hands event climbing the DOM tree is cut down right so if event is produced at h2 and in the handler itself if you stop the propagation then it will not move up to div as well as body you have to make a call to the jquery's stop propagation so which cut downs the event bubbling chain or it will break the tree so that event will not climb up and get fired we will modify our example to respond only to the h2 click event and stop the propagation to div so if you see the only change that we'll make is here on the h2 element so if user directly clicks on the div tag element that will still work and calls the click event but when user clicks on the h2 element the default is the event will get propagated upward and that get handled by the div but here what we are doing don't do the propagation that's what we are stating so in the on method function if you see here we are taking the event object this is the default that means we are not using the event but here we specify event and then on the event we are making call to the stop propagation so this will cut down the event bubbling right it will break the chain now let's go to the demo and see how this is working now this is the handler for all the h2 elements right so here the first change what we have to make is we will receive the event object and then make call to event dot stop propagation right now if you run this Previously, when we clicked at the tight, the event propagated upward and we saw this is in red and other stuffs are in blue color. Now, since we are making call to the stop propagation, the event will not go till due and you will see only the selected element will get, uh, will call the click event handler. The net effect is only tight is changing the color to red. Right. Now I am clicking the regular. You see how this is working because we stopped the event propagation. When you click due tag it will still work. Right. That's all. So 
this concludes the demo and we are ending this sub series now we have some basic knowledge on how to use the events in jquery way we are ending this sub series see you in the next sub series thank you for watching bye